So we're here at our new sponsors, Rocket Makers. Let's pop him and say hello. So thanks for sitting down with us, Paul. Um, can you tell us, how did Rocket Makers first take off? Rocket Makers was founded in December 2012. Um, we realised we needed to go through a rebranding exercise from our existing business, which was called Our Principles, um, to better reflect the type of work that we were doing. Um, so the best way of describing Rocket Makers is we help startups build their first product. So our typical demographic is a 35 to 45 year old professional male or female. It's been around a block a few times, got a smart idea, but no ability to actually build their product themselves. So we become their in-house development team, we get embedded in their, uh, in their team moving forward, typically work with them for 12 to 18 months, hopefully taking a small slice of that business in form of equity, and then we help them build up their internal team and move on. Um, that's what we do. We've been supporting the Guild from, from outset. We were initially um, monthly members, I think, we, I think that's what it was called, which provided us with a certain number of hours access. We supported um, events taking place at the Guild, and more latterly we've, we've decided to increase our presence there, um, both from a point of view of, of showing support from a business to the location, but also to promote our own brand as well, if I'm being honest. Um, we, we, we have regular conversations with people who are located there and um, just want to be part of that community, really. Um, so you said that you help startups launch their first product. Who are you working with at the moment? Over the course of the last couple of years, we've worked with Neighbourly. So Neighbourly.com is a local startup which helps um, community projects raise finance and assistance from corporate entities. So basically helping those corporate entities solve their CSR issues that they may have. Um, other, pr other companies we've worked with locally include CloudFind, which enables um, documents and files, etc., to be easily found in cloud storage. Um, we've also worked with Cognisys, which is a cognitive testing platform, um, typically focused on the recruitment market. And also we've worked with Immortal, which is a private social network. So you're also working with the English Institute of Sport. Um, can you tell us more about them? Yeah, so over the course of the last year, a major product that we've been working with um, is for the English Institute of Sport. So typically people say, who are the EIS? Um, they're basically the body that sort of funds and helps athletes achieve their potential. So we've written a performance management and medical record system, which will be utilised by the 44 Olympic sports. So the tagline to that one would be, if you're an Olympic athlete, you'll be using software written by rocket makers. So this is an example of a more corporate work that we've done. Um, in fact, I, I'd argue it's um, an example of a corporate acting as a startup. So how do you help the companies launch their first product? We see typically, I would say, four to five businesses a week that have smart ideas. Um, those ideas could be backed by cash. Uh, they could be backed by a rudimentary business plan or both. Um, and what we tend to do is work through their product idea help them hone their business plan, help them get ready for um, potential finance raise, and then hopefully, if everything goes to plan, then work with them to build that product out. That cycle can take anywhere between a month, and I suppose our, our greatest elapsed time is about nine months. So we're working with a local business at the moment. They've been trading for a couple of years. Um, they've sort of pivoted in terms of what they want to do, and they're currently in the, the finance raising phase and that's gone on for a six month period, hopefully closing in the next month or so. What are your plans and Rocket Makers plans for the future? Incremental growth. Um, we're currently at 10 people. Um, we'd like to get to 16 to 20, no more. Um, ideally, uh, longer term vision is that we will have a, a location where we can host some of our startups in the same physical location. Uh, that's difficult in the Bath area. There's a lack of suitable open plan space. Um, there's also a lack of suitably costed open plan space, um, so we're looking around. Um, we've had a couple of aborted attempts that have fallen through for a variety of reasons, but ideally we would like to stay in the centre of town. Um, it's an attractive place not only for people to visit, but it's an attractive place for, for staff to be as well. And um, we see no, re see no reason to move out of it. So is that the main reason why you chose to base yourselves in Bath? Yeah, pretty much. Both Richard and myself are local. We live in Saltford. Um, we pounded the M4 and the train lines to London for far too long, and we wanted to be based near a home. 
Um, it's not to say we don't travel, it's just that we wanted a better work-life balance. Um, so being based in the middle of town rather than out on a, an external campus was something which was attractive to us. So thank you for talking with me Paul and thanks for sponsoring the Guild. We look forward to working with you in the future.